Craig Fittis here for MTG Firearms. I'm uh, out here shaking out my 16-inch Faxon barreled rifle, and uh, last time I had it out here, I didn't even make a video because I had it with a red dot on top, and for some reason that red dot just would not zero. I had it on like an entire piece of one of these uh, targets and just could not even keep it on the paper. It was just all over the place. And uh, so I went back very frustrated thinking, well, is it, the, is it me? Is it the rifle? Is it the barrel? Is it the ammo? So I, today I took out all of the excuses. I put a 24 uh, power scope, Cytron scope on my rifle. I took the lower off, put a different lower on with a better trigger. I brought out my rifle rests and everything to see what would happen. So this is what happened. So this was my group here zeroing, and that's actually much better than, than what I had done before. Before I couldn't even get it on the entire paper with the red dot and get it to, to stay. So I don't know what this shot was, but it was the third or fourth shot out of the group. Um, so then I let the barrel cool down. I actually switched guns completely and let it cool down for a good 15 minutes. Came down here and shot one shot off to the side, and then I shot this five shot group. And there was one left in the barrel. Um, so it didn't go to slide lock. So I don't know where like this one and this one came in But I mean that doesn't really look like a group. It's pretty wide. So I didn't have much hope, but I shot that then I shot 20 rounds over here on this other target and that ended up being about a six and a half inch group So that 20 rounds the two 10 round magazines back to back um, I didn't have any more of that ammo. That's just 55 grain full metal jacket Hornady ammo um, reloads with uh, ramshot tack and these loads are 69 grain sear match kings with ramshot tack so after that 20 rounds I came back over here and I shot this group I shot about three rounds and the fourth round was this one and the gun went to slide lock so I've heard that or or the bolt locked back so I've heard that that can cause uh, flyers and things like that so if you discount that it's a much smaller group um, I loaded a few more shot one off the target again and then came back and shot the rest of these so this is actually a smaller group, so this is about three inches including this flyer down here, and this one is about three and a half. So that's that's not bad after shooting 20 rounds, not necessarily, you know, a mag dump, but uh, solidly in the rest just bang, 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 bang. You know, even that six inches uh, is better than I expected after the experience I had with the red dot. So there it is, facts and barrel, not uh, the most accurate, but not terrible. And just to prove that I can shoot in the first place, this is a one and an eighth inch group shot from an 18 inch JP rifle with a 20 inch scope. Uh, all these groups are at 200 yards. And here's a close up again of the rapid fire group. This was six and a half inches across. So that's the uh, 16 inch Faxon barrel with the mid length gas system. I'll probably do this again with a 30 round mag and uh, and maybe some factory match ammo if I can find some just to just to flesh it out and make sure that there's uh, nobody out there saying my reloads suck. Alright, thanks for watching and happy shooting.